Welcome back to the channel. Whether you're just getting started or looking to troubleshoot your workflow, this video covers the essential things you need to know about the HECRAS RAIN on Mesh model. Remember, only use as much complexity as your problem needs. Simpler models are usually faster, more stable, and easier to troubleshoot. Always balance accuracy, stability, and efficiency. Don't add detail unless it improves results or answers your questions. A well-balanced model gives reliable answers without unnecessary complications. Let's get started. When setting cell sizes for your 2D mesh, consider your model's purpose. Smaller cells increase detail but need more computing power, while larger cells speed up the simulation but might miss key flow details. In general, use nominal cell sizes where less detail is enough, and add brake lines or refinement regions where important features like roadways or levees require extra accuracy. Always enable spatially varied Manning Zen on faces and composite classification values in cells to account for spatial variation of different roughness values in the 2D mesh. This is important when your model area has multiple land covers like barren land, vegetation, and water surfaces. With spatially varied Manning's N turned on, HECRAS calculates roughness separately along each mesh cell face. This allows for accurate spatial variation, so each face can reflect changes in land cover and surface type within your model area. Similarly, composite classification values capture the variation within each cell without needing a finer mesh. Consider adding channel-specific Manning's N values using classification polygons in RAS Mapper. Since land cover data from NLCD is often coarse and not detailed enough, manually defining Manning's N polygons for channels is critical. Recent studies have shown that channel Manning's N is a highly sensitive parameter influencing 2D model results. Without accurately defining it, roughness values become overly generalized, which can significantly reduce model accuracy in critical channel areas and compromise the reliability of flow predictions. Always use brake lines at roadway crossings to avoid leaking in your 2D model. Brake lines align mesh cell faces exactly with the roadway, creating a hydraulic barrier that stops water from flowing unrealistically through or beneath the crossing. RAS Mapper includes a hydraulic conductivity visualization tool that shows how easily water moves across each cell face. This helps identify and locate leakage points by highlighting areas where flow escapes through unintended paths. Adding brake lines precisely along the roadway forces the mesh to align cell faces with the crossing's geometry. This creates a hydraulic barrier, with cell edges perpendicular to flow, which blocks unintended water flow through the road embankment or bridge structure. By combining brake lines with hydraulic conductivity monitoring, you ensure flow is accurately modeled at roadway crossings, eliminating leaks and improving the reliability of your simulation. Remember, the mapping output interval governs how frequently simulation results are stored in HDF files during an unsteady flow run in HECRAS. This interval controls the time steps at which spatial results, such as water surface elevations and velocities, are written to the HDF5 output file used by RAS Mapper for dynamic mapping and animations. Choosing a finer mapping output interval provides more detailed and smoother visualizations, allowing hydrograph plots generated from profile lines in RAS Mapper to accurately capture key peak flow events. However, shorter intervals increase the output file size and computation time, so it is important to balance detail and performance. The mapping output interval must be set equal to or larger than the hydrograph output interval to ensure consistent temporal resolution across outputs. 